When I started keto, I started with the intention of getting my health together because it was mind, body, soul, like that type of thing. So you didn't start for just weight, weight loss. loss. No, you I started didn't. for health, health and then found the weight loss, which exactly. is opposite of most people. Like exactly. I started for weight loss and then found the health. Right, right. I knew I needed to lose weight, but I also knew that the only way that I could lose, get healthy was to try to find out what, what types of things was causing the weight loss. Wow, that, okay? that's and, and, awesome. And because I couldn't do a lot of activities. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, that way every single time we have Rhonda to talk to, you'll be alerted to it. So we used to have a series called Keto and Friends, and they were just friends and subscribers, and you know they would tell their story, and we figured since we're going to more and more conferences, we want to grab some subscriber stories and we're here with Rhonda who has been a subscriber for a while of both us and on him. How long have you been following both of us? Oh God, for many, I think you guys maybe like three and a half, four years, something like that. Yeah. And all of them for the last two years or so. Yeah. Just amazing. Well, the reason we wanted to grab Rhonda is because, first of all, she's awesome. Yeah, she's incredible. And you know her and I think everybody is sometimes it's really precious to be able to see somebody that you talk to on a daily basis. Yes. Yeah. And, but, and, your, and her profile picture really doesn't ju do her no, justice, no. as you can see right She's now. She's much more beautiful. You're like, I, I don't want to just see this much of, of this face. Yeah. <laughs> well, Rhonda has an incredible story. So we wanted to share it with you, but I wanted to ask you, Rhonda, how did you even find Keto? I actually just went to YouTube and started thinking about diets. And the first thing that came out actually was keto, something really? about keto. Okay. And so I dove into it. I started listening to, I think, Dr. Eric Berg and then Thomas Delal. And then I found you guys and, and it just, I was overweight because uh -huh. I quit smoking and other things was happening. So I needed to lose a lot of weight. <laughs> okay. So how much weight did you lose? I've lost close to 60 pounds. It varies, 55, 60 pounds so far. Varies for all of us. Yeah. And that was three years, four years ago? Five years ago, but when I started keto, I started with the intention of getting my health together because it was mind, body, soul, like that type of thing. So you didn't start for Just weight, weight loss. loss. You no, started for health, health and then found the weight loss, which exactly. is opposite of most people. Like exactly. I started for weight loss and then found the health. Right, right. I knew I needed to lose weight, but I also knew that the only way that I could lose, get healthy, was to try to find out what, what types of things was causing the weight loss. Wow, that, okay? that's and, and, awesome. And because I couldn't do a lot of activities, so I wanted to fix the the inflammation in my, my ankles and the arthritis and the back problems and all of those issues first. And what were some of the other health concerns that you had? It was mainly the inflammation. It was mainly the arthritis, but I came to find out that Keto also helped my vision, because you guys. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. This was this is so incredible. 42 years I've been wearing contacts or glasses. And in the last three years, I went to my optometrist and he told me, I asked him, I said, well, I always, my eyes kept getting worse. I said, well, I always, my eyes always get worse. He went, you're getting older, right? And I'm like, wow. Wow. But three years ago, after that, he told me, oh, you, you're getting cataracts in both eyes. I mean, it was like this one was the worst. And he told me to go to an ophthalmologist to get, um, to see about getting Lasix and getting the cataract removed off my eyes. What could you read? Were you had, was it a dis, you couldn't see far away or you couldn't see close? I'm, I had bifocals, but I had monovision. So I couldn't see distance or close up without having wow. that mono, you know, the glasses that way. So 
it was a lot of things. If I looked over there, there was just, <clears throat> there was no way I'm going to see. I couldn't even see that sign there, okay? Wow. Without having my contacts on. And I had been running around with one contact on my eye for a while. And about two months taking that one off because I didn't, I felt like something was wrong. My eyesight was yeah. like, it, it was because I had the contact on and I didn't need it. But that wow. contact fell off. And I was watching television. When it fell off, they had subtitles. And I'm like, I'm over here. The television's over there. And I was reading the subtitles. Wait, so you're saying you don't wear contacts at all now? Nothing. I don't and wear did, you didn't get Lasix? No. You didn't get the cataract surgery, no. the glaucoma surgery? No. When I went back to the doctor. The only thing that's changed is your diet. My diet. I went back to the doctor. He thought I had the Lasix surgery for the cataracts. Wow. Wow. He I did. He said, the only thing you really need is like reading glass. He hit the machine. It was like, I don't understand you turning back the hands of time. What are you doing? Yeah. And I said, Keto, you guys, it's not about weight loss. It's also about the type of ingredients that you're, you're putting into your body that cause the inflammation. A lot of the eye problems that the eye issues we have is from the inflammation. From the foods, the types of foods we eat. That's what we were talking about. I thought about. it was from not yeah. eating carrots. So <laughs> so when we're here at the at the conference, one of the things that, that Chris Bear was talking about is, you know, the fats that he was putting into keto chow when he was eating it himself. Because yes, if you looked at it, you know, avocado oil, MCT oil, whatever oil it was, it was it was acceptable as far as keto was concerned. Like doing the diet, it's a type of fat, but every single ingredient had a different effect on his right. body. And so Rhonda gets up and is like, I need to know what is this versus this? You know, what is the best oil to use? Because yeah, when you start to have this amazing level of health. I mean, literally the scales fell off of her eyes in the form of the contact lenses and she was able to see again. I mean, this is your eyeballs mm -hmm. and you avoided a surgery. We need to think diet first, surgery, last exactly. resort, not yes. like go exactly. under the knife first. Yeah. So when she's trying to you know, continue tweaking it to see is there anything more I can get out of this. Now, when I when I saw Rhonda, I literally thought you were in your twenties. Mm. Every everybody that's been here. This is the one that. time I'm allowed to ask this question. <laughs> How old are you, Miss Rhonda? I just made sixty years old oh on September gosh. the tenth. <laughs> sixty. There, 60 there, years old. there is just no flipping way. So, I mean, Thank you. everything about and I've seen your before pictures beautiful woman I mean just absolutely beautiful her whole life but it's but really it's it's like her face is the same but her her body is rocking <laughs> rocking body oh well I, I have to first of all I, I do want to say we are not making any medical claims and what happened with Rhonda may or may not happen with you if you follow a pretty strict ketogenic lifestyle but you and I were talking, and I hope you're going to share that picture with me, the one that you wanted to beat up your husband over. Oh, Lord. Because we would like to share that, because you I'll and I were talking it. about how one of the things that got you started was you saw a picture that your husband snapped of you, and you were like, how did you let me get that way? And oh, I had said to you, uh -huh. you wouldn't have heard it anyway. Mm -hmm. And because I know Rachel wouldn't, if I would have said, hey, you're a hundred pounds overweight, she probably would have slapped me right. and not gone with it. But to look at that picture and to see where you've come and you literally look 20 years younger now than in I that picture. I feel 20 years younger. I mean, keto's allowed me no plantar fasciitis, no arthritis. The doctor was telling me that I would soon need knee surgery. I had back problems since I had the epidural, and that was 39 years ago. But keto doesn't work. Years right. ago, right? right? But keto doesn't work, and and here's that Ron is Ron. She's not even the exception, right? <laughs> I've got my arthritis has gone away. Rachel's plantar fasciitis. We met somebody here this weekend that their A1C went from over 13 to just over five in a couple of months. I mean. It's worth Maybe a it's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but there's an awful lot of healing going on in this building right. right now. What? How are your plans for your future different than they were pre keto? You always you, you think about. I have so much longer now. <laughs> right. I have a twin brother, and I'm trying to get him on the bandwagon because wow. 
you know, you just don't want to be without that other person. But I feel like I'm going to live to be 100. You know? Yeah, that's right. We're all going to be there how together. I'm, how, I'm, how I'm eating and how I'm feeling. I do step aerobics with my daughter, who is 32 years old. I do fit body. And I mean, this woman's I feel got a 32 year old daughter. You know? that, well, that's the most impossible part. When she said, well, I've had it, I like had recovery from that area from that epidural 39 years ago. And I was yeah, like, the 39 one, right? years? You don't look 39 years <laughs> old. You. But but yeah, the future is very different. Very different. Very very different. And this this keto family is such a wonderful community. I'm like loving it. My kids love it. They're all for it. They know it. My daughter wants me to open a restaurant. I think I you know, should. I think you, you know, need to. Um, with recipes. You need to tell me. You were yes. telling me when we were walking yesterday because I need you to put it on camera so that I can remember. What is that fruit that you were telling me that I need to make an apple pie out of? Chayote. Chayote. In New Orleans, we call them milletone. Okay. Because they do milletone. Is that recipe. where you're from? Mm hmm. I have always wanted to go to New Orleans. Really? Now yeah. I have a reason to go there. Yes. And we need to go to New Orleans. Yes. We wow. keep saying we need to go to New Orleans. I've yes. never been to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've always wanted to go. I'm but in Marrero, Louisiana. I work in New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans. I just don't like want to go bridge. during. Right. I just so, don't want to go during Mardi Gras. So, I'm gonna go to a different time of the yeah. year. Yeah. So, t so how do you use it? Is it a hard? You peel it just like an apple. Okay. You peel it but just it's like low an carb. apple, but it's low carb, high fiber, and I mean you can peel it like an apple, put it in some butter, the cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg, however you want to do I it. I can't wait to try this. Cook it up in a stove, and you really don't, PB, you don't have to really boil it. You can just put it on the simmer, put a little tiny bit of water, mm -hmm. and let it just simmer. Okay, and I this just woman can cook. crush lollies to make a crust. You can do it as a cobbler. Oh my you know, gosh! Or anything, and I mean, they love it. They this don't woman even can cook. I, I was gonna say, so so you're not lying, King. Like this no. is keto. You're just saying like, hey, you want some apple yeah, pie? Yeah, and, and I did it to my daughter. I told her, I said, hey, bitch, try this. Um, you need to put a little sweetener in it. Yeah, try this. Um, the filling for this cobbler. I'm gonna make us an apple pie. You know, and she's like, okay. I went, how's it? She said, it tastes really good, Mom. I went, that, those apples really taste good, right? She went, yeah. And I went, it's not apples. Wow. It's not apples. And, and, wow. Yeah. And I have a girlfriend who does keto and bakes keto, but she was using zucchini. When she tastes that, she went, we're done with zucchini. I, I don't know if I can because it, having a zucchini pass as an apple. Because it, it, the consistency is the same. It's yeah. it. And let me just give you one little hint, and some of you might want not want to do it, but those days when you want that apple pie, but you and you want to cheat just a little, grab the maltodextrose, which, yeah, yeah, okay, better than nothing. Those app, jolly apples, I don't know if you've seen it, coming in like a straw pack, like crystal light. Okay. They, it's called green apple jolly. The oh, jolly, like the oh, wine okay. candy. Yeah, yeah. If you sprinkle that in it, it kicks it up with that apple pie spice to a green apple. Wow. Wow. So sometimes if I'm, it's a holiday and I'm like, okay, I can deal with the maltodextrose. Yeah. This one time, it kicks it up. Dr. There. Barry said apple. yesterday, birthday and anniversary. You're allowed Do to go he's like, crazy. His point was, once a year, mm -hmm. you're good. Once a week. Probably right. not. Right. And it's zero calories. You're just kicking that multidestrial. Just, just that little bit. Yeah. So, Ron, before we let you go, I wanted to ask you to tell people if, if they aren't here, why should they get to, if not next year's Kid of Blues, a, some kind of conference if there's one in their area? Because it's a wonderful experience, you guys. It is a wonderful experience to be amongst people who feel and, and believe in the same type of things that you believe in. I mean, it's, it's, I can't tell you enough. I'm coming back next year. That's I'm all so I have to say. <laughs> yeah. You want to be here. And it, for me, it, it's not even the speakers. The speakers are awesome. They are. I mean, Dr. Barry is awesome. Right. I mean, Abby is awesome. But it's right. the community. But it's, the it's, community. it's to be around everybody else and you go out of here and like, I right. can do this. And it makes going. you keep going. Yeah. Yes. It makes you keep going. It holds you, a, you you become accountable. You have all these people that you can lean on. And believe me, you, I've gone through a lot in August and everybody was so supportive. To have a family, I've never been a part of a, a community like this. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. To have a family that's always there for you. And it's not like in person. These are people who are there on lives with you. Yeah. And, and communicate that way or on chats, through chats or Facebook, all this social media. Mm -hmm. And they care. They really do care. Yeah. You know. And if you're not 
Go join our Facebook support group. We'll leave a link down below. Go join Autumn's Facebook join the support WAC group. We'll join the WAC family. Keto Child. Keto Child's Facebook support group. We live stream every single Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Autumn live streams every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 a.m. and on Wednesdays in the evening. So there is always a Something. place for you somebody. to go where you can talk to somebody live. You can get into the chat and get the support you need. Rhonda. Yes. Thank you thank so you. much. You will. Thank we you. We appreciate guys. you. We love you. I love seeing your love face you pop up too. on comments. Tell what is your handle if they see you in a, in a chat? It's Rhonda Clark. Rhonda, Rhonda Clark. Clark. Rhonda Clark. Don't thank be you. afraid to approach her <laughs> and, no, and say something chat. to her. You need no. a, you need a friend. She she's a friend. Right. So. Guys, if you shy. like seeing videos like this, make sure you check out some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we get to talk to Rhonda, <laughs> you'll be alerted to it. Till Til next, next time, time. bye! bye.